Well, good morning, YouTube. Just headed out for a 300 kilometer or so ride with with the guys. Sounds like a Honda lawnmower. Except Honda lawnmowers won't get up to 100 in three seconds. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There's Ken on the uh, Honda CB500F. There's Vic on the 1979. CX500 and there's Dennis on the V-Rod. I think it was a 2008. I'm not sure. Okay, we're just stopping for gas and uh, the V-Rod and the CX have small tanks. And then we head out. Well, we are soon coming into the town of Kermai and then after that should be the town of Beaverdale. It's a beautiful day. I don't know what the temperature is. It's uh, probably about 20 degrees. Sun is shining. Nice. And here we are, Beaverdale. This is an interesting little place. There's uh, lots of unique characters living in Beaverdale. I thought the, I thought the outhouse would be open but he says it's locked. So we'll we'll just have to stop at a suitable spot by the road. And there's the Kettle River. Water level is quite high. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of runoff. Risk of flooding. Yeah, we stopped in Beaverdale because uh, figured bathroom time, but uh, nothing was open. Yeah, the river's pretty wide. Well, things were open, but no bathrooms. However, we've got one big bathroom here, don't we? So we just stopped for a bathroom break, stretch of the legs, and uh, here's the Kettle River and uh, water level definitely high definitely high I imagine in some areas it's threatened to spill over the banks but that's a that's a heck of a nice river just lovely I like the looks of that v-rod nice lines Uh, ain't this the life? An open road, beautiful scenery, buddies to ride with, and being retired. All the time in the world. Well, we just left Rock Creek and we're headed to Osuyus. I wanted to uh, stop at the Raw Creek Hotel uh, Prospector Pub for lunch because they do a beautiful lunch and they have a nice wood patio overlooking the creek and uh, really good. But I was in the minority. The um, couple of the other guys were a little concerned about maybe too early to go into a restaurant with the pandemic. The scenery changes so much here. All of a sudden we're in the South Okanagan and a lot more grasslands, less tight forest. And the weather changes, you know, it gets warmer here. I thought we lost someone back there. All of a sudden I saw Dennis turn around behind me and and I couldn't see Vic, so I pulled over, waited on the side of the road for a fair bit. So I don't know what the 
what was up, but maybe Vic had to stop for a while. Maybe something with the bike or whatever. Although that bike has been super reliable, even though it's, uh, what, 41 years old, the CX500. And I love this country. It's just so open and beautiful. Love it. And what a great day to be on a, on a motorcycle. Ostriches. Well, I don't know whether you can see it on the video, but there's some uh, mountain ranges there, snow-capped in the distance. And I believe that's the Cascade Mountains in Washington State. A little more snow on those ones there. That's a pretty picture. Yeah, this road, you know, it's, it's pretty free most of the time. But man, during this pandemic, all the better. And there's the snow-capped mountains again. And we're heading down into a Suyu soon. So the road is going to be like a serpentine. It drops quite a bit. There's a bit of a view of the lake. Alrighty, we're going to get a view, an awesome view. Now that is what I call a view. That's the town of Asuyus. Ain't it pretty? A lot of motorcycles out today. So we're just going to head into Asuyus and grab a bite to eat. That's a pretty striking view, isn't it? This is a uh, real desert country around here. I think it's Canada's only true desert in this region. Lots of rattlesnakes and lots of fresh tar snakes on the road. Both of which can bite you if you're not careful. And there's that site that we were looking at from way up top. Yeah, it's a pretty little town. That's for certain. So hopefully we'll find something to eat. I'm getting hungry. I think uh, any food is good. Dairy Queen's fine. Yep. Well, we just had a good meal and a yak. So we're heading out of Osuyus now. Very pretty town. As you can see, this is a heck of a fruit-growing region. 
lots of fruit grown here. Lots of wineries as well. They have uh, a slightly earlier spring than I do in Kelowna. Maybe a couple weeks. But it makes a difference for sure. They get a really nice climate down here. Well, we lost one of them there for a while. Two of them actually. But we found them again. I don't know what the issue was. That's a nice looking uh, rock face there. As is that one. I don't think I'll be claiming it anytime soon. Lots of bighorn sheep around this area. I don't know if we'll see any. Maybe. Yeah, I love the rock formations up there and the colors. I think I could easily live down in this part of the Okanagan. I would enjoy it. It's got a feel-good energy about it. It's a nice looking road, eh? Right by the lake, nice windy, twisty, beautiful. Man, it's good to be alive on a day like today. It's good to be alive on any day, really. But uh, this has been a, a pretty good day. Awesome weather, awesome roads, awesome buddies to ride with. And I think that that's about all I got for you. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed some of that. You ride safe. Have fun and I'll uh, catch you on another one.